John 13, 1-17. Now before the Feast of Passover, when Jesus knew that His hour had come, basically He knew He was fixing to go to the cross, that He should depart from the world to the Father, having loved His own who were in the world, He loved them to the end. And supper being ended, the devil, having already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, rose from supper and laid aside his garments, took a towel and girded himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel with which he was girded. Then he came to Simon Peter, and Peter said to him, Lord, are you washing my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will know after this. Peter said to him, You shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no part with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. He said, I want to have a part with you. (laughs) Jesus said to him, He who is bathed needs only to wash his feet, but is completely clean, and you are clean. But not all of you, for he knew who would betray him. Therefore he said, You are not all clean. So when he had washed their feet, taken his garments, and sat down again, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you say, well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Most assuredly, I say to you, a servant is no greater than his master, nor is he who is sent greater than he who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. Come on. Amen. Let me explain this for a second. So, washing somebody's feet, even in today's society, would be kind of a nasty thing. Right? Because some people's feet stink. Right? And if you're of that camp, you know what I'm talking about. My feet stink. Can you imagine having to wash everybody's feet in here? Some of them, some people's feet are kind of gnarly, and that's okay. You might got some ingrown toenails. You might got a little toe fungus. You might got some warts on there. You might got some calluses. You might just have some really bad, stinky feet. But to add on top of that, they walked around in sandals, folks. Everywhere they went, they walked. And the places that they walked normally had animals that walked in that area as well. Guess what animals do? They poo-poo as they walk. Have you ever seen a a circus or maybe a parade that had animals in it? As you're walking, you see them, they poop. Horses do it a lot. You'll see them poop. Well, as you're walking throughout the street, there's poop everywhere. You're going to get a little bit of that on you. Okay, it's just inevitable. Every so often you might say, oh man, I stepped in it. You know, that happens to me every now and then in my backyard. My dog poops and I step in it every now and then. Terrible thing. Nevertheless, so you add that on top of the other issue of people's feet. He's washing that off of people to make them clean. And he's showing us a perfect example of a servant. Getting your hands dirty. Amen? Getting your hands dirty in the service of others. And he's saying, if I'm doing that as your master, as your God, what should you do for others? Amen? Sometimes we don't want to have to worry about helping others or doing for others or attending to other things or getting our hands dirty. No, we need to as servants because we're servants to the master. And don't think of yourself as greater. Amen? Amen. Humble yourself if you have to. And say, I want to serve. 
I want to do this. Amen? And don't feel like you got to get something in return. Amen? You just want to be a servant. So if we've seen an example from God, as He said out of His own mouth, as you see I'm doing, you do. We need to serve God. Amen? Amen.